Hey guys, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. We have a little bit of watch boxing for you today. The two featherweights are the Casio AE1200WHD-1A, also known as the Casio Royale, versus the Sekme Ripoff Royale. <laughs> so we're going to open these things up, look at all the features and functions, check out the build quality, and then I'll let you know what I think of these two contenders. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon shopping page for this and many of my other favorite watches. I'll make sure to put a link in the description field for you. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go over all the Casio uh, Royale's specs and features, and then we're going to compare the two, compare the Casio to the Sekme. Now, so far as physically, they're literally almost identical. The, the real differences come, obviously, with the features and the functions. So let's get the Sekme out of the way, and let's go over the Casio's specs. Now, obviously, y'all know what you get when you get a Casio watch. Uh, you get the manual down here and the warranty information down here in this little pocket. So let's take this thing off. And I'll go ahead and put the specs up on the left-hand side of the screen, and then we'll uh, we'll start comparing the two. All right, you are looking at a 39 and a half millimeter case. It's 12 and a half millimeters thick. It's 54 millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 21 millimeter stainless steel bracelet. Uh, it does have an LED. It doesn't have a crown, but it does have pushers at um, two, four, eight, and ten. Uh, it's got the Casio module 3299 with a power reserve of 10 years. I'd be a little skeptical to think it's actually going to last 10 years. I think probably more like maybe seven to nine, possibly. Uh, it's not windable, of course. It's not hackable. It doesn't have a bezel. It does have a date function. It has a mineral crystal. It's water resistant to 100 meters, which is 330 feet. It has world time, five alarms, a stopwatch, and a timer. So let's go ahead and bring in the Sekme and let's start physically with the differences of the two. Now, uh, it just amazes me, they really do look, I um, mean, if you were to look at this watch from a distance, you would not know that this is, the Sekme over here is the fake. Uh, one dead giveaway, if you look down there, uh, the Casio says Illuminator and the Sekme, <laughs> the Sekme says Illuminous. So that's one dead giveaway. Um, if you look at the actual dial, you can notice on the Casio, you can actually see a world map on the Sekme. It just shows you the day of the week, depending on which mode you're in. Um, the Casio over here, I'm going to call it the roulette wheel. The roulette wheel actually shows you it has digital hands, a digital hour, minute, and second hand. The actual seconds actually um, circulate around the dial, the little inner dial there. This one doesn't have any hands. It just has these LED segments that kind of flash to let you know, I guess, seconds are passing by. I don't know, in addition to the second countdown over here. Uh, but this doesn't actually show a digital version of the time. It just kind of flashes to, I guess, grab your attention or something. Um, what else? Now, up here, you have the other segment, the LCD segment up here. These are pretty much the same. It shows you whether you have, you have the alarm or you have the signal function on, which basically chimes every hour. Uh, obviously, the middle section, of course, is different because this actually shows a world map. The Casio does. It shows you what time zone uh, you're in. It shows you different world times. This does not have world time. It just has dual time, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, they, the, what was interesting about this is they even copied the angle at which the pushers are installed. If you notice... They angle the pushers up a tiny bit on the top and down a tiny bit on the bottom. And Sekme has even copied that, which is absolutely amazing. That's real attention to detail. If you're going to make a copy of something, you know, I guess try to make the best one, <laughs> make, make the best copy you can. Uh, another thing, these cases are not stainless steel. The bracelets have folded over links, um, but the cases are actually plastic and they both have a stainless steel back to them. Um, right there, but the case itself is actually a hard plastic, but the bracelets are indeed stainless steel. All right. So what else? Um, there are a lot of differences, man. Obviously this does not have a 10 year battery. I have no idea how long the battery is going to last. Um, what does that say at the bottom? It says countdown timer. Yeah. Countdown timer. Um, I'm guessing this has just your normal battery in it. And again, with a 10-year battery, don't really expect to get 10 years out of any watch that has a 10-year battery, because uh, you're going to press the light a few, you know, a few, gosh, I don't know, maybe 100 times over the course of 10 years. Who knows how long, how many times you're going to press it? But that's going to that's going to wear down the battery. Uh, but I would probably guess, uh, realistically, you'll probably get maybe seven years, six, seven years, maybe a little bit more. Who knows? 
Um, now, so far as weight and feel, they feel identical uh, in weight. I mean, they actually, both of them feel really well made. I'm really surprised with the Sekme and how, <laughs> how good it feels. I'm really kind of shocked. Um, what else? So let's go over the features of the Casio real quick. Uh, let's go into the different modes. All right. There is your world time mode, which is set for New York City. There is your, I believe that is your uh, alarm. There's a timer, stopwatch, and now you're back to your world time. Now, if you want to go over here and press this button, this will show you, I think it has four, it has five different time zones that you can uh, uh, set up in addition to your current time zone. You press this, like I've got London, I've got Paris, Moscow, and back to New York City. So let's press this mode button again. This is your world time again, show New York City. This is your alarm. So there you go. You have five different alarms. You can cycle through them right there and just turn them off and on. And then there, right there, that was your timer. Let's go back there. I'm sorry, there's your timer. And guys, that's really about it. I mean, you're not getting a ton of features with this thing, um, but uh, you get enough. I mean, for, for what this thing costs, it's really well made and you get quite a few, you know, quite a few features. Plus you get the digital time up there uh, at, well, I guess what, 10 o'clock? And let's start the stopwatch. All right, you start the stopwatch. Now this other uh, uh, LCD indicator for the time, this doesn't flash or do anything. The only re the way you know that your stopwatch is on is just by this little tiny LCD segment where my finger is. And then you just stop it. Actually, I'm sorry, I just did a split time there. Stop it and then reset it. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> That's basically it, guys. Uh, those are the features of the Casio Royale, or the real one, as I like to call it. This watch is actually based on the Seiko G757-5020 uh, from the 1983 movie Octopussy, the James Bond movie Octopussy. So this one, so this is kind of interesting. This is a cop. the Sekme is a copy of the Casio, and the Casio is a copy of, and I'll put it in the middle of the screen, the Seiko G757-5020, back from 1983. So you can see a lot of uh, homage uh, here uh, to different watch companies. I mean, everybody kind of, um, I don't know, I don't want to say copies, but people, they definitely take design cues from other people. So anyway, so that's basically it for the Casio. I mean, this is not really my style of watch. I mean, it's nice and it's, it's really inexpensive and it'll probably last forever, but I'm not a big... Uh, if I'm going to put a digital on my wrist, I want it to be a G-Shock, uh, without a doubt. I mean, I love digital G-Shocks, but this is nice, inexpensive watch. I mean, if this is something you want to wear to work or kind of like your beater, I mean, this is one of the best beaters around. And you get quite a bit of functionality. Uh, really nice. And I'll go ahead and put, I'll try these on both and I'll go ahead and show both of the, uh, the looms on both of them here in a minute. So anyway, so there's the Casio Royale. There we go. All right. Now let's talk about the Sekme. All right. Let's go through the different modes. So obviously you see you don't see a world map up here. You just see the uh, the day of the week. There's your alarm, stopwatch, dual time. You don't get world time. You don't get what 38 plus cities. You just you could just set another time zone if you want. And there's your timer. And then now you're back. And that's <laughs> that's it, guys. Uh, again, this LCD segment, all it does is just flash around. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't show you the time digitally with, you know, with an hour or minute hand. It doesn't show you the seconds passing along. It just flashes. It's just kind of, it's kind of a distraction. But I'm really, I mean, honestly, guys, I mean, this thing was $9, including shipping. I was really impressed with this thing. I'll go ahead and put a link to it um, uh, on eBay if you want. I was really actually really impressed with how well they did in copying the Casio Royale. It feels really good. I'm just, I'm really, really impressed. So anyway, so again, physically very, almost identical to the Casio Royale. Uh, you're missing a lot of features and functions. You're missing that 10 year battery life. Uh, you're missing the dual, you're missing the world time. Um, you're missing the actual digital display of time up here at 10 o'clock on the little roulette wheel. And I'm wondering why they call uh, this the Casio Royale because it has nothing to do with the movie Casino Royale. This move, this watch is based on a a Seiko watch, like I said, from the movie Octopussy back in '83. So I'm not quite sure. I think maybe they call it this because of that roulette style wheel 
LCD segment up there. I, I mean, I'm guessing if y'all know, please, uh, you know, put it down in the uh, comment section. Let everybody else know. So I'm not quite sure why they called this the Casio Royale when it really has nothing to do with the movie, the James Bond movie, Casino Royale. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pop both of these on the wrist. We'll also get some loom shots for you. I guess we'll start with the Casio first. Man, this watch is really, really light. You can barely tell that it's on your wrist. And even the bracelet is comfortable, which I really, really like. You've got folded links. It looks like they're all brushed. Typical deployment class, but you do have some, um, some micro adjustments right there. So it feels really good, just like I thought it would. Now, let's put the Sekme on the wrist. See what that feels like. I mean, they feel almost identical in weight. I don't know how they did that. All right. Same thing. You can barely tell the watches on your wrist. Again, with the micro adjustments, folded links, and they're brushed. Now, I did tell one difference between the links, the actual look of the links. If you notice, with the Sekme, they're kind of angled up a little bit more. That's really about it, but they look like almost an identical bracelet. Wow, pretty cool. All right, let's talk about the loom. I'll go ahead and kill the studio light here. And let me kill the monitor as well. And let's compare the loom. I can tell you now that I really do like the loom of the Sekme better, just the color. The loom on the Casio is a lot brighter. You can actually um, set it from one to three seconds. So I think here's the light. There's the light on the Casio. And here is a light on, what is it, over here? Where is it? Yep, there it is. There's a light on the Sekme. Doesn't last as long, but man, I love that color. I love that blue color. And it doesn't stay on the longer you press the button, by the way. So y'all tell me which one you like better. Let me go ahead and do them both here. And tell me which one you like better. Just put in the description field, I'm sorry, the comment section. Which one you like better? Again, I have to go with the Sekme just because I like that blue. So anyway, let me know. So I'll go ahead and turn the studio light back on, turn the monitor back on, and we'll finish up this review. Like I said, I really do like both of these watches. Even though the Sekme is a blatant copy of the Casio, you really do get a lot for your money with the Sekme. You get a lot for your money with both watches, but I dare say this Sekme is probably the best under $10 beater you can possibly buy. And that's with free shipping. So go over to eBay if you want to pick one of these up. Obviously, if you want a better watch, longer battery life, more features and functions, pick up the Casio. This Casio Royale is really kind of a legend now. So uh, I really recommend both of them. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I recommend both watches. And I'll make sure to put a link in the description field for both watches if you want to get them. And also check out my Amazon shopping page for this and many of my other favorite watches. I'll put a link in the description field for that. And also make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell. I don't know what's going on with YouTube lately, but people are not getting notifications. So make sure you click on that notification bell. And guys, this, you know, this again has been some watch boxing with two featherweights. These are not heavy watches. That's obviously why I'm calling, calling them featherweights. Uh, but I've got some more watch boxing coming up pretty soon, so uh, make sure you stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.